Hello and welcome to another edition of Sunshine Plus, a TV magazine program sponsored by the Ondo State Government. I am Dakbo Arua Joy. On this edition, we have two stories for your viewing pleasure. But firstly, it's Pink October, another period dedicated for survivors of cancer. So our focus on this edition is about efforts of the First Lady of Ondo State, Arabini Betty. I am Akere Dulu at ensuring a cancer free society in the Sunshine State and the nation at large. Some of the cancer survivors have stories they want to share in this edition. Years ago, visiting healthcare facilities was determined by illness, which usually ascribed to superstitious beliefs thereby aiding multiple growth of such ailments. Today, preventive health care is becoming a common factor as people are better enlightened about their personal health. Little wonder that these days, some people regularly seek medical advice while some adopt self-examination. Meanwhile, women who are the caregivers at the home front seldom spare time for medical checkup. Our recent study revealed that over 100,000 cases of breast cancer are recorded per year in Nigeria, which is very common among women and rare among men. Globally, breast cancer now represents one in four of all cancers in women. It records the highest incidences of 16.1 per 100,000 and 13.7 per 100,000 of cervical cancer. Is, is just to define it as a malignant disease of the breast in women. Uh, when we say malignant disease, we're actually referring to those group of cells that have lost control by the body system because every cell in the system is under some guidance, some control. Even its own growth, it, is, it has to receive signal that it should grow then it will utilize those signals to grow. Even its own division to produce delta cells, it has to receive signals that where grow, mature, divide, produce delta cells, and it will do so. Now, malignant cells are those cells that have escaped from that control, okay? Like a prodigal son escaped from his family control, and then he's on his own, you know? So malignant cells live their own life, and they cannot be controlled. So breast cancer is the malignant disease of the breast. In a bid to nip the ugly trend of cancer incidents in the board, the wife of the Ondo State Governor, Arabinri, Betsy Anyamu Akere Dulu, who is the president of the Breast Cancer Association of Nigeria, Brecon, and also a breast cancer survivor, drives a designed agenda to make the ailment less dreadful. Brecon is my way of expressing that thanksgiving. Having um, experienced breast cancer and survived and doing well, so wonderfully well, I, I thought that um, I should share my experience to tell the public, especially the women, that, yeah, you might be a breast cancer patient, but there is huge possibility of surviving the disease. Like I've always said, breast cancer is like any other ailment. It's because of the way we look at it in our climb that had made it so toxic that nobody want to touch it, nobody want to talk about it. So the more you talk about it, the more people will begin to realize that it's like every other ailment a human being can, can have. So I'm really excited that after 22 years of preaching this gospel, 
is my mission or oh, I'm a missionary <laughs> yes and um, now women are coming out giving a face to breast cancer which like I said maybe 20 years ago you wouldn't even see anyone that would admit in the public that she ever had such experience so it's a thing of joy actually for me the organization has recorded survivors in Ondo State who has continued to live with hope and also help other women to journey through cancer treatment. I noticed a lump on my left breast. So I have to call the attention of my doctor to it. Then my doctor now said I should go and see the oncologist. So when I got there, the oncologist now told me that I would need to remove it, that it was very good that I came at the right time. And since I removed it, I didn't have any problem at all. So that confirms the fact that early detection is very, very important and is very nice. At the special grace of God, I believe that we are very lucky in this state to have a type of, a kind of person. I personally, I have seen a lot of uh, a lot of changes in the people I met. Even people that were very sick when I came, they are now okay because Mama have really assisted them. When I was diagnosed that I had breast cancer, well, I thought the end has come. Uh, I thought that well, I have done enough, and uh, this is an end to a life. But I want to thank God for God and how God has helped me. The coming to all those states of Arabi Rebecca Hawa Kreiru is like a God sent to me and to all the survivors alike. Because seeing her is a, is a kind of a motivation for us, is a hope. Brecan, which is a citizen-driven organization, has attracted a lot of partnership due to its sincerity of purpose. The latest is the support the Ondo State Government is giving to destigmatize cancer in the Sunshine State. The non-communicable diseases are rising. The cancers, the heart diseases, diabetes and so on. And that of cancer is just alarming, especially breast cancer. So we needed to make them realize that this is what is going on in the population. You have to reorder your priorities and give cancer attention. And we did that by even going to the um, House of Assembly to convince them. You have to put in some money to at least establish uh, a cancer treatment center so that patients here, they don't just have to die because they didn't have where to go closer to them, which I, I'm happy to tell you that it has been considered and we are working very seriously because there is this sincerity of purpose in what I'm doing and what Brecken uh, has been doing over the years. I think people have been following us for the past 20 years. We, we mean what we are trying to do. There is sincerity of purpose in it. Brecon wasn't established in want of something to do. It was born out of experience. And that experience is not pleasant enough. So we are not joking. So I want to believe that international organizations whom I've had interaction over the years, they are ready to support the uh, center. As of today, we have um, um, MOU with Harvard, um, Washington, University of Washington in Seattle, they're interested in what we're doing, and then um, University of Heidelberg in Germany too, they are also interested in what we're doing. For the good of your people, state governments should embark on setting up their own you know, cancer treatment center, and that's exactly what we're trying to do in, in Ondo State. What we now need is just to uh, keep building alliances with international communities that will support us in every way. Like Harvard, Harvard has taken up training of oncologists because you need 
specialist specialized specialized medicine not just any any medical doctor they have taken that up and i know that um, the university of heldenberg they also would identify the area you know of supporting us not deterred that the office of the wife of governor is not officially funded arabinry intelligently coined a means of financially supporting women with cancer in the state I needed to do something that would make it pos possible for me to assist these women. Um, I thought it through. I calculated the number of, or the population of Ondo State, and, and, and I think you are about three million or thereabouts. And I said, if, if just one million, of adults in Ondo State should donate 200 Naira. Is that not 200 million? We can support any woman that, you know, has the need. Even if we can't um, provide all the money for the entire treatment, at least we can give her something to begin with. And that something to begin with would take care of the diagnosis, all the tests, surgery, and maybe radiotherapy. Because immediately you, you are told you have breast cancer. It means that you have a diseased breast and there is no need, like I tell women all the time, you cannot keep diseased breasts, remove it. That's even the first step. So that aspect in the treatment protocol, we want to do that. You remove that disease breast and then you can even, you know, look around to find more money for the adjuvant therapy, that's additional therapy. So that was why I set out for that grant funding. It's a, it's a kind of a fund by the whole people, the people in the States. To 200, 500, we have a pamphlet that we give to people and they, that they used to contribute to the pulse. And anybody that is diagnosed with breast cancer goes to FMC, Federal Medical Center, or the state hospital here. They, don't, they give them a kind of a referral note to Brecon. So Brecon, they write a financial assistance and Mamax gives them support accordingly as they are requested. So like I said, I said some of them they have not done their surgery. They came on board, they give them money for surgery. Some that have done surgery, that are looking for money for chemotherapy, they give to them. Some that have done chemotherapy, are looking for money for radiotherapy, they give to them. So, so many. In fact, very recently, in March, I think we are up to like 15, that we're giving checks of different amounts, depending on what we want from the crowd. All those efforts are recognized and commended by the women folk in the Sunshine State. My word of appreciation to Mama is that Mama has been radiant, she will continue to shine. She is great, she will continue to be great because she cares for the needy. God will continue to take care of her and her children and her family as a whole. Mama has really helped us in this state because before I before I, I knew Mama, I, I didn't have much courage about this cancer. That well, maybe this thing is deceiving me. I don't fall sick. I don't have any problem. But when I met Mama, she shared her own experience with me one on one. And uh, when I when I heard about that, it gave me it gave me more courage, and I was I was well reassured. And so many of the survivors in the state. Actually, the activities of the wife of the governor of Ondo State are actually commendable. And I uh, have said it times without number that she has done tremendous help you know, to people in the state here. You know, the break-up program, like the motto states, giving hope, okay, and saving lives. Yeah, and that is what break-up has stood for and is standing on that and is doing that, actually practicalizing because they go to places, they go to communities, they go to interiors, 
they go to villages, they go to townships, cities, they go to programs, and they enlighten people. 22 years and still counting, Brecon keeps spreading the awareness with an annual exercise tagged Jug for Life. No Jug for Life is, uh, is a signature uh, program or event every October. We've been jogging since 2002. It's an exciting time for us. We have um, two objectives. One, to raise awareness. People will know we move along the street. People will be asking, ah, why is Arabiri on the street? What is she doing? And so on. It is an avenue to showcase survivorship. You put face on breast cancer. So people will see that breast cancer know they kill. It no be spiritual attack. It no be juju. They have gone through it, passed through the normal medical process or treatment, and they are alive today. It promotes exercise as a healthy lifestyle because it's also preventive measures against uh, cancers. All cancers is a way of relaxing, and I think everybody enjoys it. In Ondo State, women are encouraged not to be silent about the state of their health. Arabiri is on the move, and the state is better for it. Adiola Adeniyi for Sunshine Plus. Welcome back. I'm glad to know you're still there. Our next port of call is the Summer Tennis Clinic, another initiative of Arabian Betty Ayanwa Keredolu, aimed at helping the young ones to find their feet in the game of long tennis. Uh, the 2019 edition was quite inspiring. Enjoy the story. Edition of the Ghost Summer Tennis Clinic 2019. You can see the kids coming out in their numbers. Spirit of sportsmanship, picking them. These are boys and girls between the ages of 4 and 13 years. They are here again to participate at another edition of the Summer Tennis Clinic, organized by the wife of the Ondo State Governor, Arabian Re. Betsy Anyamu Akere Dulu through the sports agency of the state. This year's 10 days recreational program which held at the sports complex in Akure is the third edition of Ondo State Summer Tennis Clinic organized by the First Lady to help children in Ondo State discover their talents in lawn tennis game, while at the same time laying a good foundation to nurture them for a brighter future. It's been a wonderful opening for, for this um, year's tennis clinic and hope the children will have a great time and from here we'll discover those that will move over. It's like they move over to Arabi, you know, tennis and continue. You know, throughout the year, they are putting finishing touches and so on. You can say, you can say, you can say, this is the year for our Arabian Re Akere Dolu is impressed that the kids love the game of tennis passionately and she stressed that continuous training will improve their skills, thus making them professionals in the game of lawn tennis, which just like any other sport, has positive economic impact. Why we are doing this is to lay the foundation to pick the Serena Williams sister. The uh, Agassi, then all those heavy weights in tennis. Even our own Dukar, uh, 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 Chabiki was here two years ago. 
So, and that was Chinese that made him. And he said it was because somebody, a parent like you, because he told us, he revealed to us that he came from a very poor background, very poor family. It was somebody that bought a racket for him. Each and every one of us can do that for these children so that we can build or groom a future champion. And all of you can see the result, the outcome, that we are, we are doing the right thing for our children. So According to testimonies, the impact of the program has been tremendous as one of the girls that participated in the summer tennis clinic last year now represents Nigeria at international tournament. The elated children who were awarded certificates for participating in the summer program appreciated Arabimri Betty Anyamu Akeredolu for the initiative which they are glad to be part of. I've gained how to play tennis and I gain some things, some skills, forehand, backhand, volley, smashing. I want to thank I Excellency for all what you have been doing for this third edition. And I pray that next edition will be more fruitful, will be more great. We've learned a lot of things like, like serving, passing and keeping the ball, passing to the opponent and various things like that. I want to greet her as well done for everything she has been teaching us. She gave us the opportunity to use to use a racket and the ball, the coaches and everybody here. Yeah, she's so wonderful. I may God bless her in Jesus' name. I'm going to learn how to play long tennis and I thank um, Arabini for what she has done. And I pray that she should win the next coming election. I feel very excited for coming to this Monday Summer Tennis Clinic because I never had any experience in sports. But I've been very interested in sports now. I've learned how to control a ball using forehand, using back and I thank her for what she has been doing and may God continue helping her in Jesus' name. As the children attend this uh, program now. They are so interested in it. They even love the program very well. It will have great impact in the life of the children because as they are starting now, it's only God that knows the future. So this thing now that they are doing now is a good impact in their life. I want to believe what the Our Excellency is trying to do is to take the children uh, beyond uh, reading, studying, you know, but for them to have another impact in terms of uh, recreation and then all these uh, exercises so that during the holiday, it will just be after the school, no lesson, some other thing. But then for them to relax and then to recoup the energy exerted while in the school, so that to refresh their memory with other means rather than go to lesson and that. That will move made their brain more modular. Over 300 pupils participated in the 2019 Understeed Summer Tennis Clinic, which ended on 6th of September, and around 500 to 600 children are expected to attend the next training during summer next year. However, the program, no doubt, will build these young ones in the game of lawn tennis so they can become champions of tomorrow. We are the world. Hey, we are the children.
Reports compiled by Yewande Oladeindi. Perpetual Iboba for Sunshine Plus. Well, that's a package on this edition of Sunshine Plus. Uh, thanks for being a part of it. I am Dakbo Aruwa Joy. See you next time and God bless the Sunshine State. <laughs>